Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here trying out some new eyeshadow primer on my channel. I'm reviewing that and I wanted to split this video because maybe you're not interested to see all of the products. Maybe you're just interested to see this collection or you're interested to hear more about the eyeshadow primer. But the eyeshadow primer that I'm actually trying out today is Jason Wu eyeshadow primer in shade 2. So if you want to see my thoughts and how it works on my very oily eyelids, I will try to remember to put the card up here so you can watch that or the link down below so you can watch it after this video. But today I am going to review the collection Cherry Crush collection from Colourpop. I'm going to create a makeup look, use this product. So if you want to hear my thoughts and see the collection, then please keep on watching. <music> So in this collection, in this collection, I got the mirror. I got some hair clips that are very, very cute. I got a palette. I got, let's see, what do we have in here? I think this is the, I oh, I forgot. It was a long time ago since I, when I purchased this uh, gel liner. And three different gel liners, oh no, liquid liner. It's a liquid liner and two gel liners. And then we have Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain, blush, another lip stain, and another blush. So we're going to try it out. Let's try it out. And I'm going to show you the mirror. So mirror comes in this cute packaging. I love cherries. So that's the reason why I purchased this collection. It's because I'm obsessed with cherries. It's something I would love to eat every day and I eat as often as I can. This is a cute hand mirror and this is actually going to be my present to my uh, sister's daughter. She's going to get this as a gift. This is a small cute mirror. I'm not going to use it because I do have other mirrors and I just purchased another very expensive one. But this is, I think, very cute for her. So she's going to get that as a gift. And also the hair clips. Uh, I love them. I think they are cute. I can see myself per using these, but I think a girl, a 11 year girl will appreciate them a little bit more. So she's going to get these as a gift too. She's not watching this video, but her mom will. So don't tell her that's going to be a surprise, but she will get these too. Uh, the makeup I'm going to keep myself because she's not using makeup right now, but maybe in the future I will buy something for her. This is a cherry, cherry Crush palette, and I know I heard the different things about this palette. The shade looks very similar. They already uh, have these shades out, probably. I'm sure. I don't own all of the uh, Colourpop's palettes, but this collection got me, and I had to purchase it. I think it's so damn cute, and the shades look very, very interesting, very cute. So let's create something. Stop talking and let's put some makeup on, shall we? Shall we? This eye I already set a little bit with powder. I didn't set this eye, so it creases a little bit or a lot. But because I'm trying out the eyeshadow base, it's not going to look the same on both eyes. So have that in mind. And if you're interested to see more how it worked after wearing this whole day, then watch that video. So I'm just cleaning, I'm using Cash Beauty's eyeshadow brushes, so if you're interested to know that. I do want to go into red and pinks and everything, but I think I'm going to go into reds a little bit more today. So uh, I'll try to use as many shades as possible. I'm going with this shade up here, Carries, I think it's called. <laughs> and maybe I should set everything with like, there is a hair a lot of powder on my eyes, but I hope I don't make a mistake. Or I don't get a lot of fallout to mess up my foundation. But if I do, I do. can't do a lot about it. So this is a pigment. It kind of shows a little bit lighter on the eye than it does on, than it looks in the pan. It's actually more pink. <laughs> it's a cute shade and it's blending very nice on the side that I set it with some powder. So, and I'm going to go into this shade called Bla Black Cherry down here, the red, deep red one. 
they are powdery, so have that in mind. It doesn't bother you, so it doesn't bother me, but let's go this side to deep up the crease. I mean, if you have similar shades, you know, like Jeffree Star palette or other red palettes, I don't think you really need this one. But I love Colourpop and Cherries and yeah, I needed this. Not that I needed it, but I wanted it. So it's blending really, really nice. It's really blending beautifully. It's definitely buildable, so it's showing more red in the pen that it transforms on the eyes though, but you can definitely build up to get that shade and just want to know, to let you know it's pigmented, but it's going to turn when you blend it into more pinkish red than red, but it looks so good. So I'm going to go and find a very small brush. And the other brush that I really enjoy using is actually this one. This is from uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. HJ number 40. And I'm going to go into the deepest purple shade here, take a bite this shade to deep up the corner a little bit. This shade is definitely one of my favorite shades in this palette. So I'm using a Sosa and Kayla collab brush. This is Esco 05. And I do want to use this darkest shade here, Shimmery. This is Juicy Juicy with this. And I'm going to wet it because I just want to. So you know that I'll wet these Shimmery shades. The only reason is because I want to minimize the fallout as much as possible because I already have my face done and I want to try the the what it's called blushes oh so beautiful I love this shade so I'm going to clean the same brush and then I'm going to go into the next shimmer shade and I'm going to go in the, the shade in the shade that we have in the center that's called very cherry the red one here and I'm going to wet the brush too with this This one gives me more like a satin, satin finish. Definitely buildable. I'm going to into the lightest shimmery shade here. That's called Sweet Like. This shade here, also with the wet brush. Minimize the fallout. I don't know if you can see the radiance, but it's giving me a very nice... They're not shimmery shimmer, they're more like a satin finish. They give you more that shimmer when it's when they're wet, but it's, it looks nice. I do like how it looks. Okay, so we are going to go into the lower lash line. And this is going to be interesting because I don't really know what to do. Uh, I'm going to use this small brush from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill number 39. And I'm going to go into this sweet, not cherry steam, I think it's called, this shade here. You can probably hear my son singing in the next room. Oh, I got some fallout. Oh no. You're very soft pressed. A lot of kickback, but I got a lot of fallout. Hopefully, I can swipe it away. Okay, so I'm using another brush. This is from Zoeba, ooh, number 232. And I'm going to go into this shade, this shade here, that's called Scarlet. Scarlet. And I'm going to try to blend the edges on the lower lash line a little bit. Yeah, a lot of kickback from this palette. Okay, 
So I'm going to try to wipe off. Yeah, everything went away. The problem is they are very soft, so I want to try to kind of blend it in. I blend it a little bit too much on the side, but I'll try to fix it with some powder. But okay, um, very soft pressed. But I do like this palette. I think it's cute, especially for the price you get. The very nice shades. So we are going to see the liner. I think this is the eyeliner. It's white. Oh, I didn't expect that. This is a white liner and I didn't expect that. So let's see if we can uh, make something fun. I forgot that it's going to be a white liner in this collection. Now I don't like how it looks on my eyes right now. So, but it's a nice liner, I don't mind, but I'm going to try to fix it with some eyeshadow. And I'm going to use a small brush and go in with this darkest shade over here and just apply that on top of the liner. You can be more creative than I am with this and create something a much something better than I did. Okay, so that went well. I'm going to put some lashes on and mascara and I'll be back to, back to continue with the with the blush and with the lips. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. My battery died, so I had to charge it a little bit. But I did create some stars and some dots for interesting look. I played a little bit with this eyeliner and I really like it. I really like this. It's so easy to create. I mean, when I tried it as an eyeliner, it was kind of hard because I do have a hard time applying eyeliner on mine because I have hooded eyes. But playing with it a little bit like this kind of turned out okay, I think so. This is my first time playing with eyeliner like this. I did play with Cash Beauty's a palette that are more colorful eyeliners, but creating something like this, like stars, that's my first time. But we have lips and cheeks left. Now you get two cheek colors. This is a serum blush. Now I heard mixed reviews about this. Uh, you get one that's more pink and one that's more red. I will definitely go to this that's more red. Uh, let's swatch it. Let's shake it before. So kind of nervous. I do like creamy blushes. I haven't tried serum blushes though, so I don't know. We'll see. Let's see how... Oh, it's sealed. So let's just swatch the other pink shade too, just for swatches and see the shade, how different they are, because everything looks very similar on the website. So let's see. Oh, it's, it's definitely a little bit different. One is more red and one is more pink. I'll go to the red one. I mean, the pink one looks also nice, but I'll go with the red one. Just because I love red, it doesn't have any scent, though it's kind of a shame. I would like it to be scented as cherries, maybe. So let's see. Woo! That's a lot. Let's see if we can blend it with finger. I do have some bronzer on. It's definitely blending nice. I applied a, the, too, too much. We can agree with that, but I mean, it still goes on very nice. I'm not hating it with the finger. Blend very nice. Too much, of course. So I'll see. I have a clean sponge here in front of me. Let's see if we can blend it a little bit more. So it's blending nice with the sponge too, so I think it gives me more uh, even application with the finger. So the blush is nice. I think that's something new to the collection. I really like the blush though. Uh, definitely applied too much of the blush, but who cares? It's cherries, so let me look like a cherry. I'll also set everything with some powder, which I didn't do. and. Uh, Let's do that right now. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty powder. Love Huda Beauty powders. Didn't set anything, so I look so strange. I don't know why I went a little bit too much in with blush here, so it looks really weird, but 
let's move on now we have a lip le lips left of course one more pink one more red let's swatch them this is the red shade smooth and nice like a lip liner should be let's move with this pink i'll definitely go with the red one definitely looks different so let's apply So nervous applying red lip liner. Let me say just this. My lips are not even and it looks like a disaster and I try to fix it and just make it worse. I hate applying red lip liner because uh, my lips are not even and they have textures so sometimes there are bold spots where the color doesn't come and then I need to go over it and then I put a little bit too much and go outside and everything so i'm not the expert applying a lip liner and this is not looking good it's very creamy very soft it's okay liner i just did a bad job yeah my lips don't look even at all but i'll just let it be because i'm spending too much time with this and it's just looking bad so two lip stains we have one that's more pink per pink that's called love bites let's watch it here Oh, that's nice. Still doesn't have any scent. Oh, I wish it had cherry scent. Love cherries. And then we have one that I'm going to use today that's called Double Cherry More Red Shade. If you can see, this one is blading around. You can see on the edges. That's scary. And then we have one that's more red. So let's go with this red one. So the lip stain feels very soft. Not soft, but it feels very light. It feels very light. It feels very nice on the lips. Uh, it's drying down. I really love how it feels on the lips. Um, ooh. I'm very excited. So my hand looks like a disaster right now. I'm stained. I'm scared of touching anything. Oh, it's itching. Of course, my face is itching when I look like a mess. Guys, this is the final look. Now, let me say that I do have uh, plenty of hair spray in my hair, but this is the final look. The lip liner is comfortable, but I'm not really obsessed with it because it's very hard to write to make a straight line. It looks a little bit messy. I tried to fix it. I just made it worse and bigger and bigger. So the lip liner, I'm not really sure about. I need to play with it a little bit more. But the lip stain, it's a little bit tacky, but it's still drying down. That's what sometimes lip stain does. It take time to dry down and then they fade beautifully. The eyeshadow palette, I'm obsessed. Everything looks really good. I'm very happy with this collection. Like I said, the mirror will give away and the hair clips, but everything else I'll definitely keep and use. I love the lip stains. Uh, the cheek blushes, I really like them. I will play with them a little bit more. I think they are easy to use. I thought they would be more shimmery and, you know, like a highlighter, which I was scared about because I don't like uh, a lot of sheen on my cheeks because I do have a lot of pores, if you could see today, because I clean my pores and they were a lot of visible, very visible today. But uh, I think this com shade of the eyeshadow kind of goes with my hazel eyes. And I, I love I love the blushes. I think they are very, very nice. I love the eyeshadow palette. The liner is very cute. I really like the liner. I think it's very interesting, very cute to use and easy to use. So very nice, beginner friendly. And that's it, guys. I think that was everything. Let me know down below what you think about the Colourpop. What do you think about this collection? I know Colourpop releases all of the time new products and I can't afford to buy all of them, but I buy something that really speaks to me and this collection really speaks to me. Now, there are a couple of things that I look think look more childish, like the mirror and hair clips, but that's just something that goes with the collection. You don't need to use it. Uh, I'm not going to use it, I will give it away, but I think the lip stains and the cheek blushes and and the palette is very, very nice, though I'm not really sure about the lip liners, like I said, it doesn't look even. I tried and tried and tried and I have some other lip liners that I like a little bit more than these, but 
that's just my opinion. I don't know if you've tried any of the lip liners from Colourpop. Let me know down below what do you think about them. Maybe it's because the shade is very strong and you see every line that you make. And I'm not the best, I'm not a makeup artist or I'm not very a professional makeup person. I really like to experiment with makeup and I really love to try new products and right now if you're a beginner, I think the lip stain and the cheek products are easy to use and the eyeshadow palette, I don't know about the lip liners. That's just my opinion. But guys, let me know down below what you think about it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I know I'm a, bit, a little bit late with this collection, but it arrived a little bit late to me here in Sweden, but I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.